We're a back. Hybrid lights to the race of Belgium. They're out. We are the revs build up and we're underway. And it is again a pretty good launch from Jure Palakowski, but this time Ola get, uh, is on pole, so he gets good enough launch to save himself from being overtaken. Luke Tonisa drops that position to Yuri Pavlikovsky as he went a little bit wide. Chris Lawrence and Valentino Campa are in combat. Chris Lawrence has gone up to fourth place. And look at how close he is to the back of Luke Tonison here already. Got a bunch of switches in the grid here. We've got Rabat. Oh, and Saeed Alfalasi, big crash! Saeed Alfalasi in the barriers. Big in the barriers as well. The Virtual barriers safety completely car. deformed. Virtual safety car is out on the track. This was a big crash, so uh, we saw Saeed going straight into the wall, and we had, uh, I think, Milan Derrickson joining him uh, in, in uh, the wall on the other side, rather. Because there we can see Milan Derrickson driving around without a front wing. Brunitsky Ballas, who goes round, because I think they made contact at the top of Radion. And James Brockel, Horace and Coogan going side by side! Uh, survived his way into the point. Left, right, par. I still don't remember the name. Look. After the Lecom chicane, and here we go down towards that long right hander at Brussel. You can do a switch back here if you get your opponent to dive a little. Safety car! Here Safety comes. car! And Ryu Montanao around the outside of Bust of Chicane on. Yeah, and it's feeling like we are in lap 10 or something, but we're only uh, lap 6, and Safety car out again. And there we go. That looked really weird. It was like the safety car boards were flashing again when they came onto the main straight. Yeah. 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 Oh, Dursen lost a lot of speed there. Ole, they oh, Van Lardy and left. Safety car, full safety car. <laughs> We've lost uh, Marco Van Lar. Dursen already pushing a bit, and Tunison gets a great exit. Dursen really has problems on the exit of the bus of Chicane and yeah, basically... He does get a good exit, that, that's lucky for him, because that's not... Oh, and uh, Brennishik oh. Ballas... Yeah, Valentino's already lost the place. Brennishik Ballas... Oh, three into one! And round the outside, Jura Palikovsky and Valentino Campa and this... Oh, I was going to say, it's going to be the third time Brunski Balash is going to go side by side with someone going into Eau and Radion and, well, twice it didn't go extremely well. And Valentino, down to 10th now, so he's lost the place on this restart. He gains it back now. And Radu trying to force Balash into a mistake, Ooh. nearly rear-ending him. Well, oh, and Balash got a mistake! He got... You know, originally Valas got super lucky because he was technically, you could see, he was technically heading straight towards the wall and then he got that little touch in the back from uh, Lepidaterado, which actually sent him spinning the other direction. There we go, good defensive maneuvers from Jura Pavlikovsky and they push each other off the track! Oh! And wow. Jura Pavlikovsky comes off better somehow, despite being the one who got pushed around. And look at Lucas Dirksen, going past Luke Tunison now, at the end of the camel straight, diving down the inside, he... That is for the current lead of the race, although not the net lead of the race. Oh, and Pavlikowski, past Dominic Kuchen, question mark. Oh no, he goes round. Um, I'm going to be honest at this point, Dominic is cutting a lot of people off at this corner. I've seen him do it like three times now. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. and only now trying to get past Rio Montano. No ERS, so the DRS is going to make the whole difference. Now, if I was here, if I was Ryu, I would stay in me Focus on staying within one second while saving ERS. Mainly because if they keep overtaking each other every lap on the Camel Straight, Ole will end up being in front when the race finishes. Yep. <laughs> he's, he's back for round two. Is he gonna put it on the inside of Dominic again? Oh, he's gonna have to. Dominic gives him the inside line. Uh oh. And this time he dives deep enough that he can't cut him off. Yep. And he's <laughs> through into seventh place. He learned. Evol evol uh, evolution is coming. You will really need it. Especially, uh... Here he comes. You can see that flashing rear light on the back of the Alpine. And he uses that 10% of extra energy saved up. Oh, and he almost loses it. Oh, uh... And this is where the strategic chess begins. And now, Oli will probably start realizing that if this overtaking each lap continues, you'll end up losing out. 
Yeah, well, he's pushing, but he's got 1% ERS. Yeah. Here, there, he's, he hits zero. So now all he has is his DRS. Yeah. He is going for it, but it's not enough. Chess.com is jealous for our chess here. Oh, but Ryu overcompensates a little. And now, here, Ryu Montanao, you blow your ERS as hard as you can. You can see he's absolutely rocketing away from him on this camel straight. It's the American leading the final lap for now. He's Mexican, yeah. Oh, Rio is Mexican, sorry. Minister of Defense, Minister of Strategy this time. He's both have blown their ERS as hard as they can. Rio Montana wins in Belgium! Finally, he gets what he deserved. And thank you for being here. Uh, if you want to join us, link is now going onto the screen. Bye bye.